Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. It has been a while since I've done a full unboxing for a book subscription box but here we are back <laughs> once again. It's been a while, it's been a long while and I have the Illumicrate box for July and I actually was chosen out as a raffle Illumicrate for the next four months so I have a discount code for you, things five, if you want to use that on a three or six month subscription I believe. You will get a discount so use that if you're interested. So I get uh, four boxes in my period for my wrap period for free. I am so excited <laughs> like I can't believe it it's always been my dream and I'm just like I'm gonna cry of myself and yeah I'm just I'm just incredibly happy and I'm also very excited I haven't had as I said a full item box in a really long while I decided it was too expensive and also I got so much stuff but I'm so excited to like get stuff again to see like what is in the boxes now it's been such a long time I don't know what's in what do people like I don't even know so I'm very excited and excited to get a pretty book etc I do have a usually a Lumicrate subscription but only book only one but now I get all the goodies and I'm so excited okay so let's open this thing up and see what we got here. Oh, I'm doing it the wrong way. It should be this way. I'm out of practice, guys. I'm out of practice. Let's see. Oh, I got really bad scissors for this. I'm holding it the wrong, wrong side as well. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna put it down on myself. Maybe on the floor. I don't know. So the theme for July is you win or you die, which sounds like Game of Thrones. Isn't isn't it Game of Thrones? I'm not completely stupid, am I? Um, is it spoilers in here? It's been a while. Oh, it is spoilers in there. So we're not reading that, but that is at least a theme. And then I guess I would just go over the items. This is how it looks like in the beginning. And I'm excited. Let's see, let's see. So we have, this is a towel. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. This is a towel and I guess I have to open it. I need to put this down. Fire is catching. So inspired by the hanging spices and Collins, excuse me. I mean, summer here is basically over, but a towel is always needed anyway. Okay, so we have like pretty art on a like thing that is around it. I don't know how to describe stuff. And I wanna, I wanna look at it. I'm gonna take it out of its like super nice wrapping and I'm never gonna be able to get it in, it, in again, but that's okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh. Okay, so we have Katniss. I've never gotten a towel in a subscription box before. So that's a new thing. I love it. It's like a really thin one though. Okay, how do I show you guys? Sorry, there's a plastic thing here. How do I show you guys? I need to stand up like this. Uh, it's really pretty. It's almost like not... Can you even see the whole thing? Worth it as a towel. It's more or less like worth it to like use to hang up as art or something. I don't even know. That was a really great showing. It's stunning. Will I like take this with me to the beach that I never go to? Because I don't go outside, no. But also it's like, what if someone steals it? But it's really, really cool. Like the colors are stunning. I really, really like them. It's a very nice art. Really good and cool project. I really like it. It's like really beach towel-y. And I guess if I ever go back to a beach place, I will use it. I don't know where to put the stuff I unboxed. Next up, we have a, like a little pouch thing. I don't know if something is supposed to be inside it, but it is empty. So it was pretty. What I would put in this, I do not know, but it's pretty nice quality. I always have loads of tiny stuff I need to put places. So I guess it's good to have something like this for that. I don't know if it was supposed to be something in there though. <gasps> Yes, the character card game. Is this like a bookish game? Two sets of 20 character cards, 20 mystery cards. Aim, ask questions to guess the opponent's mystery characters before they guess yours. Excuse me, they made the whole game. It's very like summary, you play cards and stuff. I love it. I, I, I need to see. I want to play, who do I play with? I don't have friends. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Is it like book characters? Uh, how do I open? I want to see, that's so cool though. Let's see, let's see, how do I? Oh my God. Oh my God, they are stunning. Oh, I actually, I kind of I kind of saw the spoilers. Look, it's different colors and stuff. And um, there's all these character arts. That's insane, I showed you really badly. How do we play? 
Aim. Ask questions to guess your opponents with your characters before they guess yours. Play. Each character gets one set of character cards, teal or purple. Place your character cards face up in a 4x5 layout. Shuffle the orange mystery cards and each player takes one without revealing which card they have. This is the character your opponent is trying to guess. Put the rest of the orange cards inside. Take turns to ask a question to work out which character your opponent has. Keep it fun by asking subjective questions that avoid physical description questions. For example, does your character look like they read a lot? What if you don't know who you are? What if you don't read? Well, I want to see a character you can get. Do I even know these characters? Wait, which one were you guessing again? But you had different ones. It said you're supposed to get one set each. And you have face up. I, d I didn't understand. Anyway, okay, let's look at this one. Cedian, that's from Iron Widow. I want to just see if I know some of these. Sila, that is from um, The Final Strife. <laughs> Do we keep going till I don't know who they are? Rin. Uh... Poppy War. Sorry, I'm forgetting the titles. I know who they are, but I'm forgetting the titles. Priya, um, that is from the Jasmine Throne. I'm showing you really badly. <laughs> Let's see. Parisa. Now I don't know. But wait, what if you don't know who the character you are is? <laughs> That's what I mean. How do you play then? Because Parisa can also be from the Jasmine Throne, right? Paige. I don't know who Paige is. It's probably something pro player I haven't read. <laughs> Ning. I don't know who that is either. <laughs> what do you do that? But why are the different types of cards? Oh, wait, it's the same ones again. On the other colors. I don't think I understand in practice how you play this game. Because you can get the same character twice. <laughs> Elias, my baby. I don't understand. But I'm sure I would understand if I actually tried to play it. That is a stunning and brilliant and I love it. And I want to play it with someone who reads the same kind of books I do, that's what I need to do. Or like at least a Lumicron books. That is amazing. I love it. I spent a lot of time talking about this game, but that's that's really cool and really pretty. And I am considering just hanging the cards off on my wall because that's what I do, but that's stunning. I love that. I really, really honestly love it. Okay, so next item we have a really cute box that I don't have space for, but it has cool flowers on it. What is it? Let's see. Oh! It's not one, but two mugs or like teacups. This is teacups. This is definitely teacups and they are stunning. Uh, like, how do I, how do I function? That is so cute. Oh my God, it's two colors as well. It's one for me and Erica. That is so cute. Uh, one should have been purple and one pink. That's how me and Erica function. But look at them. Look at those. That is adorable. I love that. That is so pretty. Where are these from? Because like, I'm getting like a Magic Steeped in Poison vibes for them, but I'm not sure if that's true. I can look at the spoiler card when we're done. Or if they're just like fandom neutral, because it's literally just like petals. I, I feel like I tend to when I get stuff like this, I just leave them in the boxes, but I feel like I need to use these. Is it tea though? It is for tea, right? Okay, so we are down to the book, which I just I just spoiled for you, but I don't know how to not spoil it for you. If I can open it. It is... If I can get it out. It is The Yassad Air by Sarah Hasham. And I don't really know a lot about this, but I've seen it around. I see people talk about it. It's very pretty, as you could expect. I need to, how, how, am I showing you? Yes. <laughs> and you had this very cool spread, aka decorated edges. And then, ooh, look at the stunning and papers. And the stunning underneath. Every truth has its time, is that what it says? Yes, very, very cool. And then, I'm just gonna see, I just put it down. And it has signature by the author. And yeah, that's the whole book. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. 
That's really cool. Very pretty book. And I'm curious now. Ten years ago, the kingdom of Yasad burned. Its magic was outlawed. Its royal family murdered down to the lost child. At least that's what Sylvia wants people to believe. The lost heir of Yasad. Sylvia never wants to be found. She can't think about how Nisal's armies destroyed her kingdom and continue to hunt its people. Not if she wants to stay alive. But when Arin, the Nisal heir, tracks a group of Yasadi rebels to her village, staying one step ahead of that gets trickier. In a moment of anger, Sylvia reveals her magic and captures Arwen's attention. Now to save her life, she will have to make a deal with her greatest enemy. If she helps him lure the rebels, Sylvia will escape persecution. A deadly game begins, Sylvia can't let Arwen discover her identity, even as hatred shifts into something more. But her secret isn't as hidden as she thinks. Soon, Sylvia will have to choose between the life she wants and the one she left behind. The Scorched Kingdom is rising and it needs a queen. So it seems like, I was gonna say, like many fantasies that it's not like an unknown plot at all, but I feel like synopsis tells you very little of about books. That's why I don't read them, but I did now. Just because I feel like when sometimes you read a synopsis like this, I feel like it sounds too generic to actually double down on like what makes this book unique. I feel like it's gonna have magic and warbling in it that like is a bit different. And I feel like it all comes out to the writing and how good the characters are if like it is a fantasy that was done out for me. But it sounds fun and something I could definitely enjoy. It seems that she needs to prosecute the rebels though. Shouldn't she be on the side of the rebels? Because they are fighting for her kingdom at least or like for some version of it. So maybe I think she will realize that she needs to help them. It seems to be also kind of a enemies to lovers kind of thing because she said they would get feelings for this dude. And if they rush that, I'm not in. <laughs> but it seems very cool and fun. I think I have potential to really, really like it or not, but I hope I really like it. And yeah, a good pick and a really pretty book. So I'm very excited. And yeah, that was all in this box. It's so weird to get items again, but I'm having a great time. Let's see what we got. We had the Fire's Catching Towel, Guess the Character Card Game. It is a Remodic Magic Steamless Teacups. And it is inspired by a magic steep in poison. Look at me knowing my stuff. And the pouch was just a pouch, which apparently was inspired by the final strife. Could not get that, but maybe just it was red, maybe. Guess that is it. I think that it sounds fun and it was very, it was nice, okay? I'm happy. I'm so happy that I was chosen as the wrap and we're very excited to unbox these. I don't know if I would do full boxing of all of them, but we shall see. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a little cup emoji down below if you enjoyed this. And remember, you can use my wrap code if you wish to do so. And you just see me soon in a new one. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye!